Hey, what's up guys? Adam Lobo here from Adam Lobo TV and in this video, I'll share with you guys my unboxing and the first impressions of the new MacBook Air 2020. So let's check it out. Now, like all the Apple products, it comes in a white box with the laptop's visual in front and the specs of the laptop at the back. Opening the box, you'll immediately see the laptop itself, where this is the space gray variant. Then you'll find the USB-C to USB-C cable. Then there's the quick start guide and the Apple stickers in space gray. And lastly, the 30 watt USB-C power adapter together with a 3-pin plug as well. Now starting from the design and build, like all the MacBook laptops, it is made of 100% recycled aluminium. So good job Apple, where it is still hands down the best build quality from any other laptops out right now, especially within this range. So yes, it's no surprise that the laptop is very light at only 1.29 kgs since it is following the Air variant and it measures about 30.41 cm wide by only 1.61 cm of thickness. Now, like the other MacBook Air, the opening experience was sturdy and solid. So overall, there's no question about the build quality on the MacBook Air. All right, let's open the laptop and check out its screen. It has a 13-inch IPS Retina True Tone display, which is still one of my favorite displays on a laptop with a great resolution of 2560 by 1600 pixels and an aspect ratio of 16 by 10, but still with quite a thick bezels at the side. And also on top, you'll find the same 720 camera. Now, as for the laptop's keyboard, yes, the scissor switch type of keyboard keys is back and it kind of reminded me of the hybrid of the scissor switch and also the previous butterfly keys, which felt really good and it felt just like home when I was typing on this keyboard. And speaking of typing, I also compliment Apple for not making the edges sharp as my hand rested well on the laptop when I was typing, especially when I was using the trackpad, which was also great with no accidental palm touches with excellent force touch for precise control of your scrolling too. Then you have both of the speakers at the sides and don't be fooled by its size because it sounded really loud and clear with Dolby Atmos playback with three microphone array. So yes, stay tuned for my speaker test and my microphone test during my full video review of this laptop and subscribe to Adam Lobo TV just in case you haven't done so. So since this is a MacBook Air variant, you won't find the touch bar on top, but there's a fingerprint sensor on the top right which had the same travel feel of the keys, which unlocks really fast as usual. Then as for the laptop spots, you'll find two of the Thunderbolt 3 or USB-C port on the left, and you'll find the headphones jack on the right. Now, if you're still complaining about not having other ports on the laptop, well, firstly, I'm already living with USB-C devices, so that is not an issue for me. So if you guys are still using USB-A and not living a dongle life, well, please bring yourself back from year 2015. It's 2020. <laughs> Any case you guys do not know that this Thunderbolt 3 cable can support up to a single 6K display with 6016 by 3384 resolution at 60 hertz. So again, this is not just a USB-C port. Now, as for the insides of the MacBook Air, this is a higher variant where it comes with a 1.1 GHz quad-core 10th generation Intel Core i5 processor which can turbo boost up to 3.5 GHz and it has a built-in Intel Iris Plus graphic card so yes, there's no dedicated graphic card then it also has 8 gigs of LPDDR4X memory and 512 gigs of SSD storage now, in terms of the software, it is shipped with Mac OS Catalina version 10.15.3 and as a user for Mac OS for about 15 years right now, I have no complaints or any issues within the software. And yes, Siri is still available to do typical simple stuff. But I do think it's about time that Siri needs an update instead of only doing small stuff like opening an application. So for example, if I say open YouTube, it would be cool that Safari opens up and head on to YouTube, no? Now, as for the laptop's battery, Apple claims a wireless web usage up to an improved 11 hours and up to 30 days of standby time. And yes, I'll revert back in my full video review when I use this laptop as my daily laptop as well, whether or not it matches what Apple claims. 
Now, as for the price here in Malaysia, the standard variant is going for 4,399 ringgit and the higher variant is going for 5,599 ringgit. And I would recommend getting it from the guys from Loop Malaysia as they have the same day delivery if you guys are planning on making a purchase where you can contact them directly at Loop Malaysia's Instagram and Facebook page, which I'll link down below. And the good news is that if you guys are mentioning that you're coming from Adam Lobo TV, you will be getting a 100 ringgit discount as well. So guys, with this, do let me know what you would like to know about the new MacBook Air 2020 at the comment section below. And as usual, I'll do my full video review based on what exactly you would like to know about this laptop. Aside from that, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. My name is Adam Lobo and I'll catch you. <coughs> what? <coughs> Selamat berpuasa. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. So for example, if I said open YouTube, it would be cool that if Safarini, Safarini, eh? <laughs> Safarini, ha ha. <laughs>